Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Praise God, praise God. I pray that you are having a blessed day. Come on, somebody, give him glory, give him honor, and give him praise. Well, today starts the 21 Liquid Fast. Praise God, praise God. And I'm going to tell you right now, um, God is getting ready to do some things. As a matter of fact, I stayed up real late last night um that's why i didn't do a call just to be honest with you guys but i what i will do is i would get on here every day because i realized um doing this type of fast there is extreme warfare for me you know um i'm sure it's going to be for other people as well let's be honest however let's not focus on the warfare as much as the victories come on somebody as much as the healings as much as the deliverance as much as the miracles as much as the breakthroughs people will be blessed people will get healed in your midst people will get saved i'm talking about those crazy people at work oh come on somebody people in your family i want you to make a list of people that you're praying for this 21 days and you don't stop come on somebody and you see a breakthrough even after the 21 day fast i want you to keep on going in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i want you to understand that god is getting ready to do something in your life like never before i challenge you all to go deeper in god like never before i mean get in your word like never before go ahead get you a journal even if you don't buy a journal um get a notebook go to the dollar store whatever it takes and start today and say i begin this journey these are the breakthroughs that's going to happen. And I was talking to you about it last night. You have to get so relentless. I, I mean, you're going to go through, but you got to get so relentless like, God, I would not let go unless you bless me. And it's not just blessing prosperity. Bless my home. Bless my family. Bless my husband. Bless my wife. Uh, uh, pray for your future husband, your future wife. Come on, somebody. Um, You got to pray in this hour like never before. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And, and again, it's not just about getting blessed. It's about seeing others healed and delivered we have to go back to caring about other people you know we live in a world where it's kind of ain't no kind of, it's cold people cold people cold hearted it's all about money if you don't have money they don't want to fool with you yeah i said it like i said it. y'all know it's true if you don't have status if you don't have clout have everyone living this facade like and, and then you know i guess the reason why i talk about it so much and and i don't mind sharing it if you know my story i remember when I got these $400,000 checks back in the day and I'm trying to live this facade and I did live it. And I'm going to be honest with you. Most of the time I was unhappy. I'm not saying that I didn't have what I needed. I'm not saying that the money wasn't good. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is that I truly wasn't happy. It's almost like a facade. I, I can't explain to you, but when you're living that type of life, having everything you think you want or having all the friends, the status, it's almost like a facade you have to keep up. Now, if you ain't never lived it, then you don't understand what I'm saying. And it's hard because it's almost like you're being fake. Now, you know, living as child of God, there's peace because you don't have to front. You don't have to be who everybody wants you to be. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm down your block. Most people are working two or three jobs just to try to look like the Jones, talk like the Jones, live like the Joneses. Honey, when you are free in God, if you have it, good. If you don't, good. I'm still happy. Thank you, Jesus, for what I do have. Y'all don't understand what I'm saying. Quit, and allow, quit allowing this world to put pressure on you, to buy this, to look like this, to act like this, to walk like this, to talk like this. Be who you are in God. Come on, somebody. Live your life with freedom and peace like never before. Hallelujah. And remember, fear is your enemy. You are not afraid of anything. No demon. Hallelujah. No problems. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You walk through it. It does matter how you go through. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I pray on this fast each day that you listen to God. Pray for people. Go to a level that you've never been through. I mean, pray like you ain't never prayed. If you pray for 30 minutes, pray for an hour. If you pray for an hour, pray for two hours. I'm talking about challenge yourself in every area of your life doing this fast. And I will be getting up on here encouraging you. Um, the first couple of days, let me tell you how I do it just in case because people were asking me. I try to do just water the first couple of days because one thing about it, you're going 21 days, right? So what you don't want to do is is jump off the back and start eating broth and drinking this and drinking that because you won't get tired of doing the same thing. So as long as I can for the first week or whatever the case may be, I, tr I just try to do water. 
And it, then if I start feeling like, oh, Lord, it's getting a little hard, then I'll incorporate tomato juice. I like the spicy kind. You know, maybe I shouldn't drink the spicy kind, but I like it. You know, I'm from Louisiana. We like a little spice in our life, right? Um, then in for the broth, um, you know, just chicken broth, beef broth, vegetable broth, you know, um, soups in any kind of soups that don't have broccoli in it or anything, liquid soups, you know, um, you can even drain soups if you want to, you know, let's say you like mushroom soups, drain the mushroom, whatever it takes, make it very, um, you know, make it rewarding. Put a little effort in it. You can do smoothies, vegetable smoothies, um, fruit smoothies, you know, and when you self, when you feel you're getting a little weak, go for a walk, um, look at a movie, read, you know, another thing doing this fast. I would like you guys to like, maybe look at the passion of Christ movies that really trigger your spirit. I would, I would walk in the spirit so much for this 21 day fast. I would do things differently. Keep you a journal. Like I said, you're going to have warfare. That's life period. Anytime you're doing anything for God, I promise you, cause I'm going to be very transparent. I, I got sick late last night and I couldn't understand. It just came out of nowhere. So I was like, wow. So I, I stayed up like, I don't even know, to two, three. I don't even remember. But I do know I was going through and I was just laughing to myself. I said, devil, you always trying to stop me, but you can't. You you might hinder me a little bit. You might do this. You might, but you ain't, you're not going to stop me because guess what? You didn't start me because Jesus Christ of Nazareth is with me. And I know who I believe in. I know the power of God. I know the presence of God. And I know that God has something for each and every last one of us. All we have to do is stay on the journey. Come on, somebody stay on the path and understand that. Guess what? Nothing, nothing, nothing comes easy that's really of God come on somebody hallelujah I think sometimes we want an easy way out there is none there is none I'm telling you right now hallelujah so I pray that you be encouraged don't get discouraged on this fast know that things are going to happen but um just pray more pray more get in your word smile wash your face anoint yourself don't be looking like you fast and you know oh man I'm fat you know how people don't do all that smile you know listen for the instructions of god because god talks remember you're going you're on a spiritual fast so things are going to happen like never before in the name of jesus christ of nazareth so you just got to stay strong in the name of jesus and i don't care what you're around let's say you're around negative people you just keep being positive don't let your outside influence influence you come on somebody i just said something don't let what's around you influence you come on somebody hallelujah you understand what i'm saying you got to stay encouraged, stay encouraged, stay encouraged. You know, um, there are things that are going to happen sometimes. Just stay encouraged and know that God is with you. Know that God is with you. God is with you. I keep saying that for somebody. You are not alone. Praise God. Praise God. All right. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.